you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. One of the first day of September, first of September, a brand new month. Uh, I know you all are not very happy. Brand new month, you say, "Man, I have twenty two days to get through this." Oh, finally, arrived. Have twenty two days. You will start starting your exam. Anyway, I invited all the way. Um, because one is uh one uh professor is absent. He's overseas. 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 And it's a brand new topic. I think all of you will love this topic so much. Okay, love this topic so much. And if you love this topic so much, then it's going to affect your study. Confirm this month. So what is the topic for this month? Oh, you may ask. The topic is outdoor game versus online game. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is good? And which one do you think is bad? And which one do you think will give you more adrenaline levels? Make you more motivated, make you more high, make you more, 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 uh, satisfied. Well, all the way from three professor invited them to tell us whether I invited that I just call them here. So you'll be they'll be coming in outdoor game versus online game. The first day, uh, we got the next few lesson to talk about. In fact, the whole entire month we're gonna talk outdoor game versus online games. So what are they? And is it useful or not? Day one. Okay. So the benefit and negative. Uh, outdoor games better than video games, which is online games, huh? So outdoor games help in increasing the stamina and endurance of the child, and this is because all the outdoor games require a lot of physical activities. Example: all the balls are basketball, football, volleyball, netball, football, tap ball, what floor ball. Okay, badminton, table tennis, uh, squash, uh, lawn tennis, and what else? All the games that outdoor. This means that outdoor games help the child to develop their overall personality. Unlike video games, outdoor games do not stimulate logics and pro problem solving skills. Unlike video games, ah, uh, outdoor games do not stimulate logic and problem solving skills. Is it true? Do you agree that games real versus virtual? Now all the way. Invited three professor to talk about this. Hey guys, are you ready? I'm inviting uh, VIP to come in now. Uh, 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 hello, Mister Yuan. Where are you? Okay. Are you ready? And all the way there. Let me let us welcome these three professor who is going to talk about outdoor games versus video games or online games. Do you think it is good or not? So like social. Okay, this uh, type of game benefits and negative concern of game. What's the first one? And a lot. Uh, 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 what what social that? networking? What social networking? This one, this one. Outdoor game versus online game. Okay, which one do you think is good? Okay, let me bring it down here. Okay, outdoor games and okay. The short form of problem. I'm waiting them to log in soon. Ah, uh. okay. I'm calling them in. Ah, uh. ah. Uh, hey, please behave yourself. Uh. when they talk, ah, uh, you must give them a very. They will ask you questions. Okay, and all the way from Britain, Professor Ting Yang. <laughs> hey, that's you. Uh, you are the three professor lah. <laughs> okay, Professor Ting Yang, would you mind explain to us? In your opinion, okay. Later we will have, uh, Professor Yuan. Then you have Professor Yona, and because Professor Wenpei is overseas, so we will talk about it later. Okay, Professor Qin Yang, what do you think about outdoor games and online? Let's be honest, ah, be your two cents worth of thought. If you ask Uncle Raymond, I think both have their pros and cons. It's a double edged sword, but I feel that online games are good in certain. To a certain extent, but outdoor games will really keep you better. I won't tell you much of my answer now, but I will honestly, I think all of you are Fiona, Professor Fiona, Professor Yu, and Professor Qingyan, and Professor Wenpei. I think all of you have went through these two platform online outdoor games, right? So please tell me your two cents worth of thoughts. Which one do you think is better? Back to you, Professor Qingyan. 
Uh, I think outdoor games is better. Both um type of games have their own pros and cons. Um, but I I feel like uh outdoor games uh ha has more positive um parts of it. Outdoor games uh can improve your uh physical abilities, uh help you make uh real life friends. Uh, also and also exercise. All outdoor games include exercise. Uh, which help to uh release uh endorphins, which uh ha increase like your mood and and uh makes you happier. Uh, while online games uh can also help you make friends. Uh, and can also help uh cultivate problem solving skills. Uh, and it's also less dangerous compared to outdoor games. Uh, online games more does cultivate more what? Uh, uh, problem solving skills. And also um allows you to make new friends. Uh, it does not allow you to communicate face to face. Uh, and it's also, uh, it, this will also take up uh more time, uh, be because compared to outdoor games, you do not get tired, and uh, you may lose track of time and spend a lot of time on the games. But that's it. Okay, thank you, Professor Ching Yang. So can I just conclude with saying that, uh, Professor Tingya, you say that outdoor games is still a way to go for, for teenagers like yourself and all of you here, that um, it will give you more like all works and no play. You go outdoor, get some of the sunlight, la, some refreshment, la, more greenery, more fresh air. Then to cook up at home and just to keep sitting there at the, at the computer table or chair or your, or your sofa or on your bed or even in the toilet um, to do these uh, gamings, even though you will not get tired. Uh, surprisingly, uh, are you sure that the eyes will not get tired? Maybe you are right. Uh? I mean, uh, the kids will never get tired. So, and it feels like that's the way to go, but somehow or other, it, it's no good because you don't have a face-to-face -face communication. Thank you so much. All right. Professor, you and your turn. <coughs> I think that oh, all the uh, uh, yes. I think that all in all outdoor games have more benefits. For example, some things that outdoor games have over online games is that you can like get fit while doing it. And I don't see how you can do that online games because I don't think it's possible. But that doesn't mean online games doesn't have their benefits. One benefit is that online games have over outdoor games. That is number one more convenient. You don't need to like go outside. Maybe like if your hobby for outdoor game is like swimming, you have to like find a pool. If your house you if you don't live in condo, then you can't. You have to travel a distance to get there. But then online games, you can just turn on your computer and you probably it's probably like takes three minutes rather than you drive to the swimming pool to practice. Uh another benefit that online games have is that I think it's as good as outdoor games for building your like your teamwork and friendships because sometimes in like multiplayer games you need to have coordination. If not, you can't win the match. Just like outdoor games, right? Like volleyball, you have to work as a team. On online games also. So I think all in all, both have their pros and cons. Outdoor games cons is that you can't go uh it, it might be inconvenient sometimes. And for online games, the con is that you uh, the con is that you can't get fit while doing so, and you might still have to pursue an outdoor hobby. All in all, I think we should do both, but in moderation. But I think outdoor games have slightly more benefits than online games. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Yuan. Wow. Very good. Very true. Huh? Uh, yes, last but not least, Professor Fiona, what do you think? Okay, no need to ask her. Like, she don't play game. She don't go outdoor. She go outdoor, she scared the sunshine on her, get suntan. Then she got, oh yo, pizza. 
漂白变成黑黑 r i g h t thing。<笑> OK， just kidding， Professor Piona， 你今天心情不好是吗？笑一下啦，这么 serious 什么？啊啦，对啦，笑一下，这么 serious， 好像我在不懂什么什么提错那个地方那个船。All right， back back to you， Professor Piona， let's be serious， let's go。Honestly, I feel like both outdoor games and online games are good in a way. Like it depends on how you play it. Like for outdoor games, yes, you are able to like be fit, and、uh, and you have more like connection with nature. Let's just say that you can go out and have a hike. And Bukit Timah Hill, you know, you you get to like actually experience the nature and something. But the problem is that it is very dependent on the weather. Like let's just say that it's raining today, then you're not able to go hiking or swimming or play badminton or any other sports that you like. So you can't really be dependent on just one type of game. And this is where online games like come in handy. You can do it. You can like play your VR or any other games at home, in the comforts of your home, and it's like not really, and it's not dependent on any weather. Who gives a hell if it's like raining or sunny? Because like, I mean, you're at home and you can have the aircon blasting, so it's like not really dependent on the weather, and it it can be used as a stress reliever at times. But you you have to like. It depends on how a person manages. If if that person just keeps on playing the game nonstop, then、uh, I mean, too bad. One problem for online games is that it can cause um addiction. Like you'll be addicted to let's just say this one game called uh let's just say Mobile Legends. Ah,、uh, you're addicted to it, and then you'll have want to play it like twenty four seven. And it 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 might lead to social isolation. Like all you think about is just staying in your room and you know playing that particular game. While when you go outdoors, you can ask, you can get a friend to play, go you know, hiking with you. I mean, there are a lot of sports which require more than one people, one person. So, yeah, it also requires interaction. Honestly, let's just be real, life. I were to give you a PC which has all the games you could ever want inside it, or I can give you a choice to go outside, get all sweaty under the sun, hiking. We honestly, which one would you choose? So like, let's just be real. Although people say that they prefer outdoor games, I think most people they would still want to resort to online games. So. Very good, very good. Thank you to all the professors. Involving the outdoors and online games, it's just the start of the beginnings of this month topics. We're going to have a very heavy, very detailed, in depth, and a very strong debates on these two. In fact, whatever you say is true, ah,、uh, but the thing is that don't you realize that even outdoor and indoor or online games, it also depends on teamwork. The only teamwork that is different is that the outdoor require physical face to face. When online, it can be be very cyber bullying. That even though it's a a a, a can be a teamwork games, ah,、uh. but um,、uh, to be honest, a few days ago when I was having lunch in a in in North Point in a restaurant with my wife and my son, the two waitress was talking about it and say, "Ah, yo, 那个小小 baby 啊，才不到两岁，他妈妈就放那个 handphone 在他面前玩 game 看 YouTube." Is it good or not? Of course, no good, right? I think I think no. Why ah?、Uh? But because if you don't put the phone in front of the baby, the baby will start distracting the mom, and the mom cannot have a proper meal. You can't. She can't eat. You no, know, the mom also need to keep feed and have food, right? So that she can take care of the baby. But I think that's the only way to get her her baby distraction, so that she can concentrate and eat a a meal, while the baby can also concentrate and eat her his his. I think should be her lah.、Uh, her meal. At the same time, also focus and not get distracting the mom. The same thing goes to online outdoor games. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what Wunpei will say in the next lesson, but nevertheless, we all know that both have the benefits and cons. But if you ask me, I'm just sorry to say you're born in the wrong time. Ah,、uh, where outdoor games seems like not so popular nowadays. Maybe the only one is badminton and table tennis. You know, when my time, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, anyone stay in HDB, ah,、uh, what? HDB, you know the void deck, ah.、Uh. When my time, the void deck is used to play football. You're ping pong, ping pong, hit the wall like nobody business and scream and shout. 
even vulgarities will come out and all things like that. And we take out our slipper and use our slipper to be a goal post. And then we hit until our whole bloody leg is so blue black and then dirty and go home and wash. Or sometimes get scolded by parents because we are addicted in playing the basketball. Okay, who's uh, football? Sorry, who say uh, outdoor game can, outdoor games cannot be addiction? I have one of my godson uh, play basketball until so addicted uh, that she forget to go home and study for her his O level exam and he failed. He played until he got himself injured, even though he the coach found that he's very good in basketball and go for competition. And the stupid bloody coach uh, uh, asked him to go for competition is about one and a half months before O level. I told him not to go and play the basketball competition. No, this one is very good. No, you'll help me in my future. You think what you play NBA? Ah, huh? American national basketball or China basketball. You're just a bloody Singaporean. You know, how much you can expand your, your career in basketball. And true enough, uh, he got injured. Uh, he went, he went, basketball, he went, he fractured his ankle. Asshole, right? That's what you say. So, you think like my nephew is like, one month before I told him don't play football, he got injured his, his uh, uh, ligaments and he had to go for operations or then he's unconscious. So outdoor games, the, the disadvantage is that you will get injury prone. Outdoor games is that you will get sometimes heat stroke or even sometimes uh, heart attack or even sometimes you get dehydrations or sometimes you get being uh, injured for unnecessary reason. Well, online games, uh, in the, like what uh, Professor Fiona say, uh, at the comfort of your home, air cons, and playing game. But do you know, nowadays, kids like you, you guys, teenagers, are spending too much time at home. You do not get in fresh air, and then you realize on uh, you, Professor Yuan and Professor Ching Yang, Professor Fiona, and Professor Wenping, do you realize that you get sick very easily because you do not go outdoor to get refresh? Your, I mean, yeah, la, Uncle Raymond, what talk you? I got PE, you no. Know. In school, I got PE lesson, you no. Know. Well, every day, one week, two or three times. Yeah, it's true, it's good enough. But you see, uh, because this month is an exam month, uh, your exam will be in three weeks time, somewhere on the starting from the 16th or 20th of September onwards, all the way to 27th, with all your seven subject full paper loads. You need the stamina. You need the concentration. You need the focus. You need to be keep yourself healthy and fit. By playing games, you are using your finger only. Your two finger, the most three, four fingers to key to key the punching games like the the online on your keyboard or even your handphone. But on the on the outdoor games, you make your like what Professor Yuan and and Chingya say. You make your body to move about, get fit, uh, able to move and here and there, and and able to to exercise better. But one of you say, uh, what happened if you don't stay in condominium? Now, today, condominium also got indoor swimming pool, right? Or indoor gyms. Okay, uh, it's best that uh, outdoor consider as gym. Uh. Gym is considered outdoor. Of course, you can tell me some say, oh, no, my house got my own gym. Uh, okay, la, that one different. Uh, how many people have their own gym at home? You know, you take out a lot of space, take out a lot of equipments. So this month, the topic is, which one is better? Yes, there's no hard and fast rules that say that outdoor games it will overshine in uh, online games. The purpose is that if you ask my opinions uh, sincerely, I still find that outdoor games is the best. To, because at the end of the day, uh, yeah, you can tell me work from home using computers, but outdoor games, uh, take note, uh, it will improve your, your kinesthetics movements, your body movement, and then you will not keep there to become very fat, right? You see, ah. Uh, like you weren't so fat, nah? uh, no, sorry, you were not fat. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, sleep on my tongue, lah. Uh, Ching Yang, he's not fat, he's just very fat. Only. <laughs> uh, 你不要笑,因为你不胖, Ching Yang. Ayah,最胖那个就是,稍微F的,嗯,没有啦,没有啦,不是不是不是,那个F的很瘦,很瘦,很瘦。你不觉得,说老师,开玩笑,大家不要生气哦,你不觉得,好像你整天坐在那个
and then you were looking at the things like like keep blinking your eyes. But we cannot stop online game because all of you agree online game will help you to do strategy planning, uh, like um, this uh, Minecraft or Mobile Legends or the role playing uh, games, uh, uh, Call of Duty, all these games or Genshin. You can name it a lot of like Minecraft, Roblox, all these things. Uh. It actually help you to also improve your language. Sometimes we can see there's a word talking, you know, like a sentences. Now, nevertheless, let's move on. Huh? Okay, let's now outdoor games, outdoor sport versus online sport. Let's hear from what this gentleman say about this, uh, the whole, how did he debate? So if let's say your this uh end of year really come out these kind of questions or comprehension passage for these kind of questions, you fret not really. You already know the Zenke Lai Long Chi by the whole entire scene. And I say at the end of the end of September, we, we still can argue uh, and there is no answer whether which one is the best. Seriously. But if you ask me to make a stand at the end of my conclusion of my essay, I will still think outdoor sports will might do better than the uh, online game. Even though now a day, um, I'm not sure. Maybe my surrounding areas there's only a football field or a a, a floor ball, or or what foot foot store foot foot store right football, but in the indoor, um, there's a limited place. Uh, even want to play badminton, super tackle, there's no such place for us to play. Or even table tennis. Even though in Katip, uh, we have this under the the void deck uh, playing table tennis. But you know ah. Uh, they play until so late at night. You know the they got this sound. They got this sound. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, right, tick tock, tick tock. Until the, so the upstairs, uh, the neighbor complained and said, Wow, the tick tock, tick tock, tick tock sound, I can't sleep. I'm And you have to call police. No, I'm not kidding. Like, they call police and then how, how do they resolve this? Don't everything no but now it seems like everything are go by the laws and rules and regulations that make people to be very hard to enjoy outdoor sport and don't forget outdoor sport of course we can talk about golf right golf also is outdoor sport there's no way you play at home lah. and then you talk about um uh this uh, what you call uh, serving uh canoeing kayaking and you talk, oh, that's water sport. Nah. These are all really keep yourself in. But there are some of you, nah, I don't know about you. Do you like to be under the sun? Do you like yourself suntan? Or you don't like to be a man. You don't like to be a Why? It's hard to see. Is it like a black man? It's like a black man. No, but then like, if you're under the sun, you not only will you like um, be a you will also like sweat a lot. Under the sun too much, you got radiation and then it's skin cancer. Uh, which is true. It's true. Uh, I, I, I'm a very outdoor sport. I play all the badminton, I'm sorry, all the racket games and uh, all the balls game. I said netball. Uh. <laughs> I don't play netball. And then I also play um golf, driving range. Uh. Any games, I'm a, I'm a swimmer, I'm a 100 meter sprinter. Of course, he asked me to spring, I asked me to swim. Uh, I think all the water will splash out with you. Like a swimming pool, the water too will pay you. But last time, I used to be a very sporty person. And I like to get myself being tank. That's short, sure, very short. Sure. But of course, it, it depends on yourself. Like if you don't like the outdoors, most of the outdoor games will make yourself very tank. Okay, but recently, the doctor said that Zhong Yi said, Raymond, you should go to the outside, it's too warm. To see so like a vitamin C or vitamin whatever you call it, uh, okay, uh, to get yourself more healthy. Uh, depends on which sun you with what type of which day or the time the sunlight is. And don't forget, some baby uh, who have jaundice, uh, just like a liver cannot pie to. You realize the Asian babies, especially the Asian baby boys, uh, will get jaundice very high. Very true uh, for my two sons. And they have to early in the morning to side high uh, to get rid of the yellow yellowishness of the bodies. Okay, let's go through this. Uh. I am a millennial who has always preferred to go out and play on the ground rather than sit on the sofa holding a joystick and staring at my PC. Today, 
I did like to share with you a few reasons as to why outdoor games are better than online. Please, after this essay, you, you, you tell me, reflect on this essay and tell me, do you agree to what this author said? Now, in the IP students uh, essay, uh, they really have the reflections uh, to, to debate whether the, there's two sides of the coin. Give me a minute. Uh. I feel very hot. I need to on the second fan. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So let's go. Saving your wallet from shrinking. You can easily get an average quality of sports equipment at a mediocre cost. Takai takai ika average price. But when you go out to purchase a good quality video game, then you will end up having a big hole in your pocket. Hey, Sui Jiang Suo Ha. Who cannot who say cannot play tennis at home? You know, like a Wii ma? Like a Wii? Ni, ni ting wa Wii ma ting yang? Wa, ni, 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 si, ni si naika di shu lai da? <laughs> uh, Fiona, ni dong smoke si Wii ma? Yeah. Eh, bia zi mo serious eh, ha? Uh, ni men langke si chung naika di shu lai da? Eh, you want to know what is Wii, ha? Huh? Very fun, ha? Uh, you can take the, the thing, then you can be a, can play tennis, right? Correct, ha? Uh, you have, ha? Uh, you have, ha? Uh, like the Nintendo one. Oh, Nintendo Wii and then uh, what Xbox ah, PSP right ah. Uh, now you know what Chingya. You know you can play tennis at home like on the TV. Serious lah. Serious. You can play. You go and type WII right. Is it the WII? It's called WII right. You went. Oh, ah, then then ah, this ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This machine, so small right. Then you can play. You know, you can do play tennis correct now. Oh. Uh, then you can play bowling also can uh? Uh, bowling okay so no need to go outdoor to go the bowling uh, complex or play in uh, a book a tennis court now uh, to play in. and it's really uh if you're not no need to get some tan okay i i like myself to be tan and uh, looks more fit like korean boys like that uh yeah 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 <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> okay, keep your mind happy, all right? So when you play sport, okay, <clears throat> it not only makes you fit, uh, I think all agree, uh, but also release your hormones like adorophin. Now, somebody say that, uh, well done. This hormone is good for your neutral transmitter, which means it affects our muscle, mind, connection, blah, blah, blah. Thereby, endorphins increase your reaction time when you're working or doing some important physical activities. Well, agility is a priority. Other hormones like dopamines, do, uh, or norepinephrine and cetrodomines are released in excess. That's the reason why you feel happy after playing a good outdoor games with your buddies. Of course, make sure you win the game. Uh. If you lose the game, uh, then you'll become fighting like you What <laughs> And now to become supposed to be friends, become enemies. Uh. There are some people who cannot take it. Uh. When they, they lost the game, uh, well, they'll throw the racket, they'll ma chu hua or all these things. Uh. Yes? What what do you say? I can't hear you. You are. Uh. Uh, you cannot take it when you lose a game. Uh. I won't like fa pichi la, but then like yeah, I'll be like really, really disappointed. Oh normal, normal. But then is... if I knew that I didn't stand a the chance, then eh, it's fine. It will wait, eh. 以前我是很好勝的人呢, I cannot lose it. Then you or Penny, I'll say you and or Tasuke, you and I'll say you as a penny or Tasuke, that I don't. Hey, Raymond, you have a one chill, or so can you wanna? Confirm Sue or Pia, oh, milk. I'm going dating with Ching Yang, bye bye. <laughs> Example, a joke lah. Oh, I cannot take it. Eh. I cannot take it when I lose. Eh. Seriously, one howlson. But you are too, too, ah. 听过这句话,教,不是教者,失败是成功之母,right? But sometimes when you lost, uh, the, your the opponent will look at you. Oh yeah, you're the head of the head. Well, you feel very bad. Uh, I don't know how you feel. Uh. There are some friends uh, who cannot be friend one. They just want to look down on you. So, from a game, you can tell. Uh. So, if you look at it this way, uh, you, you feel good. I, I'm not sure whether you play online game, you feel good. Uh. When you play COD, Call of Duty. Wow, you kill the enemy. Headshot. Bam. Wow. You hit the... Wow, solid. Uh, Boom. Headshot. Hey, I like to play the sniper. Boom. 
Uh, headshot to UN smile. Boom. <laughs> Throws away your body, your body culture. Okay, what does this mean here? Now, sports can be considered as a detoxification process for your body. This is because whenever you eat garbled in junk food, low quality product used while cooking gets it deteriorated by time and stay into your body for a long time. You need to pie too, you need to detox, you need to throw out all the unwanted things. Not only junk food, but simple everyday products such as your toothpaste contains loads of chemical which will consume and retain for a long time and you can become toxic. Huh? Toothpaste also can cause myself in the teeth. I thought supposed to protect my gum, my teeth, and to prevent tooth decays or teeth decays. Huh? Possible. Yeah. La. Edit everything that is inside your bodies is to good to get rid, but depends on how much. And don't go every day, play outdoor and under the sun, of course. Uh, sorry, you like what? Uh, you'll get skin cancer. So, uh, like the lifeguard, the lifeguard, I realized that uh, every day they'll be under the rain or shine under the sun. That's why their body is so tanked. <coughs> <coughs> so when you are sweat, so when you sweat while playing or exercising, you're not only getting rid of your body fat, but also throwing out all toxins from your body. So I tell you, uh, my student in my school last time, uh, they always give excuses. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, menses cramp. Uh, sir, late cramp. Uh, this cramp, that cramp. You know why? They don't want to PE. But if you PE, you want to wear PE t-shirt, right? After you sweat like hell, uh, you still have to take out your PE t-shirt uh, and change to uniform. You know how sticky it is, right? Uh, you agree, huh? Ching, huh? And you and I, when I was in my, uh, my, my primary school, secondary school at JC, uh, I hate it, huh? I love PE, but when I have to change my T-shirt to uniform, I tell you, well, I cannot concentrate and study there. And then the stupid school rule is that after PE, you must take out your T-shirt because it's very stained and perspired if you wear uniform. Can't I just wear another new T-shirt? Since this today is a PE lesson, can I just take away my sweaty T-shirt and change to a new T-shirt? I cannot wear uniform. And some more, I'm a prefect no. I have to wear the prefect, never mind. I have to wear the bloody tie during recess time. Wow, I tell you, uh, I like coming out for sauna. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot take sauna. Uh, then then my, my, my friend asked, uh, Raymond, you just went for a run? Uh? No, I'm sweating like hell. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, so they, they are talking about the purpose, the benefit of outdoors. Uh. Take note, uh, oh, these are the points you can help you in your essay. Hey, I, you never know. Uh, you really come out in your set two exam, uh, set one exam questions, or next year you 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 hit the jackpot. Save your eyes. Ah, you. This is not supposed to be me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ting Yang. <laughs> uh, lucky you never wear specs. You would. Okay, Ting Yang. The point. The points listed before are the benefits of sports. Now, let's consider the boons associated with video games. When you play on a digital screen for so many hours, it not only affects your eyes, but also your mental health because your mind won't release a happy hormone unless you have worked out physically. You might feel happy for a short while, but in the long run, it will increase your stress and anxiety. It's not like that. You should totally avoid video games. I personally love video games. I, I tell you, uh, Ching Yang, this is a very true story uh, that I encountered in my teaching career life. I got one student who is so addicted in the online game playing computer laptop. Uh, uh, you and, okay? And one day his father wanted to throw away his laptop. Uh, you know, he, took a, he went to the kitchen and took a knife uh, or chopper one to kill his father. Turn the police case. Then end up we came to school and, and asked him to write a, a letter, a contract that you cannot use laptop at what time. You know what they do? He nearly want to commit suicide. <laughs> and then you can tell me, uh, okay, um, that uh, I want to join the online gaming competition worldwide. With that money I earn, uh, I don't need to study. And then when he was late, uh, look at my hand, look at my hand. <laughs> look at my hand. Uh. Okay, he was standing like that, right? So you know what he said? His hand was like that. Like that, right? Standing like that. Then his hand start to move like that. Non-stop, right? Then I just was, he was too late. He was too late. He was too late. For, for later punishment to stay back in school, to do detention. Then I walked to him. Hey, what happened to your finger? What? Nothing, right? 
a thing. Then after that, my his friend said, Oh, his class, you also like that. Why? Addicted to keyboard warrior because he's very fast. Then how you know? I went to his house. Well, the way he kicked the keyboard around, and sometimes he's so angry at you know, he can take the whole bloody keyboard and smash it. Then I ask him, How many keyboards is smash? A lot already. How you know? I always accompany him to go popular and challenger to buy new keyboard. Oh my god. Can you imagine online he's in throw keyboard? Oh my god. 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 Oh my Hey, imagine you play online, ah, uh, uh, face to face, ah, uh, on outdoor game, ah. Uh, he won the racket to hit the ball. 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 He won the so good, but cannot take it all. Seriously, right? What's the quatang? It's tender. But I just can't believe it. Uh, there are people that how can the parents cannot control? Okay, back to you. Uh thank you, uh Ching Yang. Uh oh, that's only a one small part only. Eh? Wow, Fiona, you're lucky, come. However, it is important to find the balance between video games and sports because video games are the demand of rapidly changing times and technology, but sports is a demand for your personal and mental health. Actually, it's not easy. Eh? That type of sport, eh? should be R. Eh? So, okay, this last conclusion uh, is very interesting. Uh? He said that find a balance between video games and sport because video games are demand and changing. And I like the graphic now. Uh? When I start to play computer game was back in the 19, early 1990s. Uh, they were using floppy disks. Put this one, this two. Uh, the first game I play on UN is Mahjong. Okay, Mahjong. Okay, then later we play some uh some fighting games. And some uh well, a lot of fighting games are very nice, game, but very 1D and 2D. Uh. Now we got 3D, 4D, so uh, even though people buy the whole entire machine uh, just to play the, the F1. All right. Uh. They buy the chair, buy the well, the well, really the whole entire like got the gearbox, the steering, the accelerator, brakes, everything uh, like real one. Uh. No need to go outdoor and play already. Is it good or not? Uh, in terms of marketing and uh, doing this kind of online business, of course, it's a good benefit. Uh. But then again, uh, there are people who through online game makes a lot of money. Okay, but also sports, they also make a lot of money. I never heard Olympic online. Uh. We only heard Olympic on outdoor games. I won't be surprised in the future they may have Olympics online. Because you realize that people are getting like please outdoor sports meal sing chi. Like let's say uh, can I start start suddenly I think of it? Uh, can the three of you uh, give me a minute now? Uh, Okay, so if, if you have uh, outdoor games uh, that you really, really don't mind to play, uh, which outdoor games we want to choose? 30 second thing, uh, and tell me why. So for me, I will, so I'll choose football. Then why? Because I love to play football. I like to score. How am I going to play this football? Of course, uh, now it's a day very hard to get a, a team of 11 players each. Uh, okay, so my, my favorite is football. Okay, so Professor Qingyang, which sport, outdoor sport, would you want? 
if you're given a chance to play? Uh, my favorite is also football. Oh, uh, which team do you I support? Think I I support uh Real Madrid. How about English team? Uh, Tottenham. Serious now? Yeah, I'm serious. Serious ah? Uh? Yeah, I'm serious. Serious ah? No uh? You really ah? Uh? Yeah. You know who is that ah? Uh? Yeah, I know it's uh, Hugh Ming Son. Hugh Ming Son. Ah, I'm the. By the way, uh, I'm the member of the Singapore's first supporter club. Uh. In Singapore, there's this member. Uh. Serious, serious. Okay? I've been in the Singapore's first supporter club for many years. I supported Stoughton Hotspur since 1983 until now. Okay, tonight is a match to see. Uh. Oh, really? Uh? Okay, wow. High five to you. Uh, so why you like to play football? I think uh, football is like, it, it's a team sport. So, Unlike like badminton or like table tennis, where it's like a uh, one one v one, is football is like eleven people, so it encourages a lot more teamwork. And three, you can also like make more friends, and it's also uh more uh physically demanding, uh than than like some sports where you don't have to run around. Oh uh, yeah. Wow. Do you play football, Emily? Do you play? Yeah, I do. In school or what? Are you CC uh, in school or football? Uh, no. Uh, so how how do you play football? Uh, I just play for fun. No, I mean uh, sorry. I mean we we all play for fun. But how do you actually? Uncle Raymond want to start the football club. Ah, uh, with Tottenham Hotspur in Singapore, the kids. I'm serious. Ah, uh, because I also trained my students in Kochan before with my coach. So actually, I'm uh, but but the the other coach is supporting Arsenal. <laughs> okay, you know when you are Spurs, you don't like Arsenal. Ah. Uh, Okay, so we put the differences aside. And the thing is that, um, yeah, I want to really want to start a, a football club in Singapore with the kids. But no time, uh, sad to say. Uh, where where you play most of the time, Ting uh, I I I play in, either play in school or I play uh, at a food store called like near my house. I don't like food store, right? seriously. Seriously, I don't like the idea. It's good to play. I like to play on the field because you know food store, you cannot keep the ball very high, right? Juna. You agree? Ah, uh, yeah. No, I just. What? No, you know, in the field, when you play football in the field, you can keep the ball very high, right? Right, yeah. correct. But first of all, you, you cannot keep too high after the ball go out of the road. You go and pick up. Uh. Correct. Uh. So that restrict your 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 shooting skill. Ah, you can we tie for each other. Okay. Thank you very much, Xing Yang. Uh, what about you, uh, Miss Fiona? If you are given a chance to play outdoor sport. Wait, dancing is a sport, right? Dancing is definitely a sport, but you see, dancing is a bit tricky, yeah. It can be indoor, right? Yeah. Oh no, brother, you don't dance in the in the in the Guangzhou, unless it's that the Chinese Guangzhou Wu, that the old lady, that old lady. Ah. Sorry, ah. I tell you, ah. My wife told me, ah. Later, we will dance the Guangzhou Wu. You go dance. I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance. Every time I see those old ladies dancing, I cannot take it. Ah, okay, dancing. Why? I mean. Specifically street dance, cause what kind of dance? Hey, hello, brother. Dance got a lot. Got K-pop. Got street dance. Street dance, ah. Yes. You want to dance? Yeah. Come on, show it to us. How the hell am I supposed to show you right now? I'm wearing a dress. Okay, I'll give you the music already. <laughs> you really dance, ah? Actually, yeah. Whoa! Is it your CCA or just a hobby? The hobby, I guess. I just picked it up like. Months ago, and I like it better than badminton. Oh, I can tell you, you can high five with my daughter. My daughter's recently went for a competition, you know, right? In the uh Kalan Stadium, she came in nineteen. Wow. Out of thirty four groups, so she has been a uh, a uh, uh, instructors in Nanyang Poly, not instructor, a uh, one of the dancer choreographer, and she has been dancing for many years. I think she has the genes of daddy. Yeah. I used to be a break dancer. I'm not kidding you, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm a break dancer. Of course, now you break dance, I become break dancer. Don't laugh, ah, uh, bloody ah, uh, the two of you. Yeah, I can dance though. You see, I can do break dance though. You see, 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 see my finger very nice, ah. Uh. Oh, I can, I can do it, ah. Uh. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, not bad, ah. Uh. Uh, they confirm you can dance with really. Not everyone can do this, ah. Uh. Correct, uh. Some people, e e e e. <laughs> you can, ah. Uh, you and uh, don't laugh, lah. Uh. You, you belly dance, ah. Uh. A belly dance, wow, that is nice. A belly dance. Eight. Joke aside, ah, 
Um, oh my God, my donkey buggy. Joke aside, uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I know so. What makes you like the this kind of street dance? There's so many types of dance. Why you choose street dance? Like um, this I've tried. I've done ballet before. You done ballet? I've yeah. done ballet before, and. Like, to put it in a very mean way, I was like an elephant just stomping around the room, not knowing what to do. Hey, yeah, like, ballet. Like, and, and, yeah, and my... Not sarcastic, huh? Not sarcastic, huh? I, I know, I know. Like, as a ballet, you have to, like, be a swan, be, like, delicate and shit. But I'm, like... I'm I'm not like that. It's your cup of tea, lah. Yeah. I think your character is not good. You play ballet... Uh, <laughs> 那种ballet的女孩子跳舞是跟你不一样哦，不是说是看不起你啊。啊，如果一个ballet跳street dance，I tell you no no no，you go back ballet 啊。啊，因为you and Uncle Raymond 跳ballet，我跟你讲，你马上吐血。哈哈哈哈哈。Yeah yeah thanks to you。啊，加油啊 Fiona。啊，dancing is actually a good thing 啊。Very sad 啊，last time 我跳 break dance 之前，我给人家我侮辱、讽刺。哎呀，这些就是会读书的人哦，才做这种 dancing 咯。可是你看现在。还有competition的哦，我不错嘞。我的女儿参加两三次 set to say she did not get in the top five, but she's very happy. I'm very proud of her. She really, she can really dance, and the the movement is. I love that kind of movements. The the dance, the street dance, ah, the hip hop dance, and and not really for me. Ah, thank you very much. I learned something from the two of you now, Tina and Fiona. Last but not least, Yuan, is it your outdoor dance will be belly dance? <laughs> okay, lah, joke, lah, be What, what, what? Last time outdoor, I do outdoor volleyball. Sport? Sorry. Last time I do volleyball, and I think it's very fun because that it it like really requires teamwork. Like for example, like when someone usually the opponent will send very hard to receive, right? Because they don't want you to get the point, and you have to get it back across. But you need like three. If I'm not wrong, you only have like. In the NSG, you only have three, like hits before you can. Correct, right. three times. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's not easy, cause, and also it's very pressure on yourself. For example, if someone like hit across and it's obviously your your turn to catch, and then you miss it, then your teammates can be very angry, and like, like lower your morale and everybody's morale. No, actually, yeah. Uh, in fact, all of you to choose the sport like volleyball, football, and dancing. Uh. Do you know it requires stop it lah? Uh. I don't see your nose of uh, <laughs> To be honest, uh, okay, joke aside, uh, it requires a lot of disciplines, patience and perseverance and resilience. Turn the turn. Okay, and all the three of you who took out these sports uh, get ready uh, for injury. Uh. Okay. Tinya, I ever played football until the ball hit my box. You know which balls? Uh? My testicle. Seriously, uh, I have to go for operation. I'm not kidding, uh. Because I used to be goalkeeper, I play all kinds of for midfield, goalkeeper, defender, striker, I play. Yeah. Okay. And and the worst thing when I play goalkeeper, I screw out the ball, the guy kicked the balls and hit my balls. Okay, that incident I'll never forget. And now honestly, I went to hospital. So that's the injury. Some I saw leg broken. I got see my student fracture the arm during competitions. But you and since I need one outdoor game. Ma. Uh, I got do Muay Thai, but it's not outdoor. Muay Thai, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, Tinya will be woo. Uh, by the by the way, uh, I share Hong Chien. Oh. actually, I want my younger son to learn MMA. One of my student now is in Muay Thai. No, oh. it's a it's a instructor or coach twenty plus. Ah, uh, you see, MFA is not Muay Thai. Oh, sorry, MFA. Ah, uh, MFA. Oh, you you learn Muay Thai. Ah, uh. so you must you do this. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but. Actually, surprisingly, I I got less injuries from that than any other sport. Cause like when if you go to a proper place, they they go to where? Go to where? Like if you go to a reputable gym, like to train, I think like they keep it very safe. And I got less injuries from Muay Thai than like volleyball actually. But you know Muay Thai uh, is really can have internal injury. Yeah. You know why? Because they use all the elbow and the knuckle and really hit uh, at the ribs. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh? And then this part here, ah, uh, you see, I know, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. But well, like, if they ask you to fight each other, like, likely they don't allow you to use your. They allow you, but they put a lot of pads, protection gear. Yeah, but because you know why in Singapore is different. You go to Thailand, good luck to you, man, bro. 
<laughs> you lie to you. It really whack you like Sia, man, brother. You know, recently got this uh, uh, Thai movie, got this guy. He's very good in Muay Thai. He's an actor. actor. You, you can watch his movie. It's, I, 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 it's on Bak. Uh. He says it's on Bak. All right. Okay. So, um, thank you. Wow, Muay Thai. So, you have been doing for how long already? I started last year, December, after PSLE. So, every week you must go for Muay Thai? Yeah. Where is it? It's like Chinatown. Where you say? Pasir Panjang. Oh my god, Siao. It's damn far. Eh? Hello, it's very far. Eh? Correct. Eh? But your daddy mommy drive you there, huh? Yeah, it's like 15 minutes. Oh, no wonder. La. But Chin Yang play football is different. He's a helicopter one. Da, 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 and landed. Wow, nice. Eh? Okay, thank you so much. What about you, Wen Can you share with us, Wen What kind of sport do you have? You're not very rude now. Wenpei never answer me. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I like the way you look. Uh, Uncle, you a bit tone now. You won't think, huh? He's not in this side. You, 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 the, you get a U N. Got Muay Thai. Tone now, jing sui liao. Come, I'm not jing sui. Come, come, come. Let's do this exercise. Let's go. 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 Uh, write your answer if you can. Type in the Zoom chat with the system. This is part one. Uh. I still got part two, part three, part four, part five. Uh. Uh, don't give me the kind of... The, uh, don't forget uh, my dear children, leaders. This month is exam period. Uh. You need more practice. I need to, to beef up your brain power. I need to improve your brain power. Okay, I need to improve your thinking skill. Okay, so you beef up. Exercise just like last year of PSLE. You know, this month... Last year, this time, uh, you also beef up uh, training. Uh. Let's go. Wenpei, if you're watching this video, okay, um, please also don't fast forward and look for the answer later on. Uh. Please spend some time or maybe you can pause the video and then do it, okay, diligently like your three good friends here, all right, to test your grammar. I met Barbara when we were in elementary school, which is primary school. Uh. We want each other for over two years. We love each other for over two years. We many new words since we started this course. We buy many new words. There's a wonderful movie. I, I see it three times. This is such a simple one. Uh, if you get it, at least one more than one two wrong. Uh, uh, I think we have to go back to PSLE again. Oh, stress with if you're not stressed with. <laughs> You prefer this one or editing, Fiona? <laughs> huh? You and Tingyang, you prefer which one? Editing. Tingyang, if I can get once uh, something from Totten Hospital uh, for my chairman, uh, I will get it for you. Uh, but you must meet me at the grassroots club. 
there's a new T-shirt. I show you. I show you the new T-shirt. For this year, every year we have new T-shirt. This is a Singapore T-shirt for Totten Hotspur. Sorry, I, my, my, my helper helped me to fold it. You see? Hey, I didn't love you, huh? Hey. Last year, one better. Got my name some more, no? Raymond Shong. See that, Chiang. Or RS, you see? Ah, my opinion, yeah. This is last year one. Your father also support Tottenham Hotspur? My father doesn't watch football. Then uh, encourage him. Lah. Then father and son can watch together. Then next time your son will be Sun Tai Tong Tan. Wow, good. Then his son will be Si Tai Tong Tan. Wow, good. I support Tottenham Hotspur. You know, you know why not, Ching Yang? Because there's this rooster, right? This one? This one, right? Ah, I'm born in the year rooster. Wow, you went so fast, ah. So fast, ah. Hey, you give the answer to everybody, ah. Wow, so nice, leh. Give everybody, ah. Okay. When you start to love Tottenham Hospital, aren't you? Uh, when I like first started like watching football. Uh, I'm sorry, which year? When I, uh, it's like when I was like three, four. Whoa! And Doctor Hospital used to be in the eighties, very good, very powerful, got a lot of good players. Eh? If you look at their history, yeah, uh, that's why I support them also. And I like the Spurs player because they are not so arrogant like compared to Arsenal, in my opinion. Help what? Uh? You want to help you? Uh? Oh, you want to shit, huh? Go, go, go to toilet, lah. Shit, I thought I forget to pass perfect. You shit got pass and perfect it, lah. How you know your shit is perfect? Oh my god. Wait. Don't step on it. Why? It smells like shit. It tastes like shit. It feel like shit. Lucky you never step on the shit. Very funny on Fiona. It's like, what the hell? Uh, you 两个人在走路吗? 然后然间那个 
甲乙丁啊，呃 ，person A 跳 person B， 不要不要不要不要不要猜到什么事情，等一下等一下我看一下，嗯 ，feel like shit， taste like shit， smell like shit， 幸亏你没有猜到那个 shit， oh my god， it's so damn bloody ridiculous， right？ Are you done the two of you？ You want you don't need to check answer。Hey, so next week your father mother come back already now. Yeah. If not, then there will be the password and the and the ID permanently. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Which part of US your daddy go to? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. How much you have to pay? Uh. Don't. Hey, ma. Fiona. Las Vegas is a city from the city. 是卡西诺的，真的。Yeah, but I don't think they did. 哦，我原来你老爸是赌神，哇，佩服佩服，周润发的的的的兄弟，赌神。All right, 金阳 ，Thank you. I don't think the first one is correct, Ah, 金阳 ，To be honest, Ah. <laughs> Present perfect tense, ah, huh? yeah. Now, now I know why you say that. Yeah, yeah. present perfect tense, perfect. <laughs> See, I don't think the first one is, seems correct. Maybe you are correct. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. It's correct. Hello, ma. Oh, Vienna. Okay, when you are done, can you look at the next one? We every week, ah, uh, for the next three lessons, ah, uh, we'll be doing all this a lot. Uh. Your last lesson for hey, this month, you got five lesson, ah, uh, until twenty nine. So next one October, we will talk about it again. Ah, So you and I, if we are done, Ah Ching Yang, if we are done for the part one, let's do the the other one. Matthew is waiting on the corner, is waiting on the corner for his girlfriend, but she what yet? My brother lived in a different country. I him for two years. Elise and Bill got a divorce five years ago. They what to each other since then? It is only eight forty five. The class yet, so this eight forty five should be in the morning, lah. Yes, but Tingyang, do you know Uncle Raymond supports Spurs? Ah? You don't know or no? Or just today that you know? Uh, I, I saw your shirt yeah. like, like some time before. Oh, then you never asked me? Ah? Shy? Ah? <laughs> well, lucky. Ah? Like today, I thought about outdoor games and, and online. Then I finally realized you also have the same team. Ah? 
<laughs> if not, I will never know. And you never know me. All right. Thank you, Fiona. So all of you, the three of you have done the first part, present perfect tense. Huh? So let's move on to the next one. It seems I also use the present perfect tense. Huh? Oh my God, finally. <laughs> None, man. This could be editing nan. Good. Huh? So you can train it, train your brain. Huh? There are more of these coming out later on. Huh? Oh, excuse me, see how good, good, relax. Oh, sorry, got a few students. Uh, I share your story, Fiona. You know what they say to me? Please send my regards to Fiona. I know some teachers are really an asshole. <laughs> What's that? Huh? Oh. Yeah, because you say your teacher don't like you, ma. Something, things like that, right? They say, I understand how she feel. All the best to Fiona, Zetze. And Mei Mei. Some of them are older than you, Zetze and Mei Mei. Okay? Set one already, Zetze. Oh my God. So much old. No, 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 no. So much old. Okay, let's do the second part. This is actually not difficult, Fiona. You know why? Because you don't have to do this. So it's good to have this. You know why? Sometimes you never know. Uh, in the editing, uh, that's very, very serious. You might come out all these things. Huh? You can learn me. Why the teacher didn't teach me? Now he teaches you. There are more to come with all these exercises. Uh. So, Chinyan, you play striker or goalkeeper or midfield or defender? I play anywhere. You like anywhere. anywhere. Or you, you mean you play ball, pick, ball picker? <laughs> no. Say properly, la, which one is your best position? I can play anything. Like actually, except for goalkeeper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But have you ever played 11 aside? Uh, no. Don't ever? No. Uh, Mr. Yuan, have you done?
好了没有？我都没看到你答案哦，你出了啊 ？OK， 来一二三啊，我开给你们 answer 啊。哎 ，Where's my mouse？ 哎 ，Where's my mouse？ 哒哒 ，I told you right， 青阳 ，have known。哎 ，You know what's the difference between has and have 哦 ？And had 啊，懂吗？ Have 啊是 for you, I, we 啊 ，has 啊是 for she, he, it 啊。Tell me for the first one 啊 ，the first sixteen， how many got correct？ And the next ten， then we'll go through the answer， okay？ Mark 啊 ，mark 啊 ，check 啊 ，check 啊 ，how many 啊 ？How many got correct？ You want？ I still wow. checking. Okay, sorry, sorry. I give you one minute, huh? Don't mind. Uh, Uncle Raymond. Yes. For the one, uh, for the second part. The answer key is like I, like for number one hasn't arrived. We wrote like has has not arrived. Is it like okay? Okay, later we go through the answer. Don't worry. Okay. Right. Later. Mr. Do I count that as like correct or not correct? Later, later. The, oh. You just follow this answer first. But oh, good question, ah. If your answer is a bit different from Uncle Raymond's or here, then you say Uncle Raymond, I think uh, can I put has not arrived? Of course, it it's okay. Has mm -hmm. not arrived. The hasn't and has not is the same idea. Okay. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you. You are uh, welcome. Uh, how about Qingyang? Uh, Qingyang, your that first six, seven, you have which team? Okay. Thank you. Ah, the second one, part two. Wait a minute. I'm going to look at some other things. Oh, here there are other things you haven't done yet. You haven't done yet. 啊，还有这个 homework， 这个也是啊。OK， let's move back to the answer。还有 ，you want 你你几个对？十个里面哇，哦，哇，我太紧张了，我我弄到我的手。Well done, Yuan. Okay, let's go. Okay, you all know the answer already, ah? Let me put this one. Control C. Can I paste here? Okay, yeah, we yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah, do it this way, Ken. Yuan, you do number one, number two, Qingya, number three. Ah, Yuan, then go back to number four, you. Okay. Go the cycle. Okay, number one you read, then followed by Qing Yang number two, followed by uh you are number three, then back to you number four. Okay, Yona. So you go to the cycle reading in three, two, one. Let's go. I met Barbara. Yona. Yona number one. I met Barbara. I met Barbara when we were in elementary school. Uh. The answer is that right. We have known. We have. I sent the answer to all of you, right? All right, huh? Yeah. We have known. We have known each other for over twenty years. Number two. Jingyang. Uh, we have learned many new words since she started the course. Thank you. You want? I'm loading the image. 
No need, no need. Uh, number three, just read the, the screen there. That's a wonderful movie. I have seen it three times. Well, can't go. Uh, sometimes you say, I have watched also can. Uh. I've seen, I've watched also can. Uh. Now, next one. Miss Fiona, your turn, number four, please. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Toner have been married for 10 years. Okay. So, this is just a past perfect, just is in. 事实现实已经这样了，都已已经决啊决定那个局面了，就是 it's already a fact of life with it. You cannot change with it. So present perfect ah is very true ah. So yeah, it's very useful to use in in compo compre ah letter writing ah. Okay, number five, please, Ting Yang. You are late. The class have already started. Yeah. Okay. So it's true ah. This one very good to use also ah. Number six. Robert is my neighbor. He had lived next. He has lived next to me for five years. So, in the five years ago, until today, ah, he still is your neighbor. Ah, number seven. Robert is my neighbor. He has written several letters. Has written. Mary has written several letters to her parents since she left home. Yeah. What's the thing? Why did she write a letter? 为什么不是 email 呢？啊，所以从这个 sentence 可以告诉你，他可能是住在一个很偏僻的地方 ，a very remote or maybe they don't have WiFi, they don't have computer, they only have letters, postman. Countries like maybe in the Tibet, Mongolia, or Africa, or some very remote places that they don't have the access of email. Or she want um not to let people know where is where about. Okay, number eight. We have eaten in that restaurant several times. So not only first time for many years of I mean many times until today, we are still enjoying to eat that restaurant. Number nine, please. Mr. Yuan. Our teacher, our teacher has given us a lot of help with the homework assignment. Mm. So it's true, right? I think this September holiday, your teachers has given you tons of homework uh, to prepare you for this coming exam. And to be honest, uh, those homework that the teacher give you, uh, they are there are very high chance uh, some of the questions may come out in your exam or may be close to it. Uh. 真的, 真的, okay, I'm a teacher before I know that. Uh, please. Okay, so let's go. Number 10. He has spoken to her landlord many times about the Broken window. So, so from this sentence, I the teacher that means that the landlord not管哦，就是那种 attitude problem， 就是不管那个事情。坏了就坏，怎么样？你跟我讲怎么样？啊，我等来修理啊，你都没有给我还租啊。Maybe like that. So landlord maybe stingy 啊、uh, ，had care not not a very responsible landlord. Number eleven, please. We have a new camera. We have taken some beautiful pictures of the grandchildren. Wow. So this. Couple uh, these grandparents uh, do not know how to use handphone. So you have to bought a camera, very old style of technology, yeah. To see how young that on digital camera that I out. Okay, number 12, please. They have done all their homework already. Okay, so what does it mean? The word already, already means it's in confirm one chain to one. I already killed uh you and already. <laughs> you and <完蛋了>. one <laughs> Okay, and Piao Liang, I bet it's a little bit of a Okay, Piao Liang, Piao Liang. Okay, okay, okay. Number 13. Ah, Piao Liang, the Tofa, I said. But you're not Piao Liang Tofa, that was swung, eh? Mean total. Okay, I never talk about quite a quiz. Okay, sorry, they put tea like a Piao Liang, the Tofa, I Mrs. Baxter, so what to talk? 先做第一错都是我的错，开始。Mrs. Baxter has bought all her groceries for the week. So that show that means ah,、uh, this family ah,、uh, or Mrs. Baxter has a very huge family, a lot of members in the families. So he had to buy the grocery for one whole week so that he no need to keep traveling here and there. Or maybe his house is very far away from the grocery shops, so he had to buy each one. I said, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, to to avoid um. Uh, what do you call avoid inconvenience? Ah,、uh, number fourteen. Ah,、uh, Ting Yang.
uh, Miss Tommy, Sir's back. Tommy, Tommy. Oh, oh wait, Tommy, uh, has had a bad cold for two weeks. 听过这个字很好用, has had, uh, 他已经有这个感冒 for two weeks. 好了吗? Maybe 还没有, uh, has had a cold for two weeks. And she, he is still recovering from it. So he still have a mild flu. That means this flu must be very bad. Uh, that has taken a toll for him for many days already. Must be quite serious. Uh. Maybe that, that the immune system is not Right, 15. Frank has worked for that company for many years. So he is loyal to this company. He is still not able to find other jobs that pay him more than this company. Pay him more than this company. So maybe it's a high paying job and he refused to move out from this company. Number 16, Fiona. After three months of looking, she has found a beautiful apartment to rent. Oh, she had finally found a family to rent. So she's a maybe she's a very particular girl, a particular lady, or very OCD, or maybe she's she wants to find a place that is safe and sound and convenient and make sure that uh, this apartment not only cheap and good but also safe and sound and beautiful. Maybe it's, the apartment is facing the sea or facing a nice view. Right? Back to you, Tinya, number one, please. Matthew. Uh Matthew is waiting on the corner of his girlfriend but she hasn't arrived yet so uh, Fiona if you say has not uh, confirm the actually I prefer to use the word has not than hasn't uh. seriously you know why has not is two word right hasn't is one word ma. but it's good uh, when you're using in summary writing you minus one word okay take note uh, you minus one word so it help uh. ah there's a trick for it uh. A lot of people, students ask, hey, what is the difference, Uncle Raymond, has not and hasn't? It's the same. It's just a short form with the apostrophe there. I, I think, Ting Yang, you realize there's some problem with this sentence. Matthew is waiting at the corner or near the corner, not on the corner. La. Sounds a bit weird, la, on the corner. Number two, please, Ewan. My brother lives in a different country. I haven't visited him for two years. Oh, you're very bad, huh? Never visit your brother. Uh, I shake your hand somehow, shake your hand. Different country, so you are very busy, uh, you, uh, you stay in Africa, uh, cannot fly there. Uh. Number three, uh Fiona. Ellie and Bill got a divorce five years ago. They haven't spoken to each other since then. Very funny, uh, some people divorce, uh, they still can live together in the same house. Eh. Some people divorce, uh, they still can be friends, and then after a few years, they can get remarried. Some divorce is really like this, two will never talk to each other. Must be a very strong grudges. Uh. 就是他们恨一下的,恨进入骨啊。可能是他的老婆跟别的男人, uh, okay? So number four, please. Uh, it is only 8.45. The class hasn't begun yet. And the class hasn't what? Uh, ah, so you know it's anything. This is all this can give you a li little bit of hints in your comprehensions, in your literature as well. Uh. Number five, please. Hello? It started to snow last night and wait and it still hasn't stopped wow what happened that means it is a very strong thunderstorm number seven is it number seven ah uh, number six she has finally decided which car she wants but she hasn't bought it yet okay so she had been looking around the means she's very picky or she maybe have a budget or she maybe think that this car is not super suitable for his taste maybe due to the color uh or due to what uh, why you cry on uh, poor thing you know why you cry well you want to buy for ferrari or lamborghini i prefer lamborghini uh. i don't believe i don't like ferrari i like lamborghini that's why you see my behind my car where's my new car lamborghini car Next one, number seven. I got high taste, uh, uh, Ting Yang. <laughs> okay, number seven, your turn, please. I heard the movie at Roxy Theatre is great, 
but I have haven't seen it yet. Okay. The theatre, Roxy Theatre, is really there. It's like in Singapore, if I'm not mistaken. There's really that theatre in Roxy, which is somewhere. Anyone stay in the east? Anyone stay in the east? No? Marine Parade? Juche? No, no one stay in the east. Okay, number, number eight, please. I bought a, news, a newspaper today, but I still haven't read it. So what you do? What is the point of buying newspaper and don't read? Huh? Hello, hello, where are you going? Come back, eh? Okay, number nine. Thank you. I need to tell my auntie something. Eh? Okay, okay, I also want to go with you. <laughs> number nine, Fiona. He took his car to the subway station yesterday, but they haven't fixed it yet. So in American place, they call service station. Uh, in, in British or Singapore, they call the workshop. Uh, okay, mechanic or workshop. Uh. Number 10, uh, you are uh, Yang. The Andersons moved out of New York 10 years ago and they haven't been back to the city since then. So there's a three possibility. One is they don't like New York City anymore. Second, he has moved to a new place much better. Or third, is that maybe they pass on already. Just to tell you. Possible, huh? Thank you so much. I think today you have really learned the, the, deep, the use of present perfect tense which is really perfect to use now because it really able to help you in writings and give you an idea how present perfect works. Huh? Hasn't, have, uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So next, we'd like to, well, it's only a couple of minutes. Uh, it's a holiday. I don't want to disturb you. Please, can you take a picture now? Uh, Yuan, can you take a picture? And then send to the group chat. This one, uh, send, uh, take a picture, this one. Please I hope me. that the uh, Fiona, Qing Yang, and Yuan, if you can uh, type it up or write it up and send your this one, this homework, the idea one, two, three, and conclusion. So next Sunday, we can go through it. And your this one essay is, are computer games good for children? Okay. This is an essay, 300 words. Huh? Are computer games good for children? Okay. Thank you, Yuan. Argumentative essay on computer games harmful to children. Are computer games harmful to children? So one is say good, huh? What is they that is good? The other one say is harmful. So you can do both. You can do two. You can do one. You can don't do at all. I don't care. But um, if I don't see anyone doing it, of course, I will go through like this, huh? And because it's only uh, two weeks to prepare for your essay writing, since all of you have get used to the writing skill, the writing fist pop, the writing style, the vocab words, the child to 15 word sentences, why don't you now really spend time to enhance, enforce, and ensure that your writing is better so that you can score better marks and then enjoy the next three months of holiday, October, November, and December, rather than, you know, after that, you suffer. So the more you write, the better you are. Okay, Wen Peng, Fiona, Yuan, and Qing Yang. All right. So I hope this will be the homework. Okay, you took a picture already. Huh? Okay, so please do this as a homework. Thank you so much today.